Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Infraspace. Now before we get into it, let's click on this roadmap button. So here we get to vote on extra features. So what sort of things, mod support would be nice. Uh, gondolas, flying cars for workers, natural disasters. Oh, but the drainage engineer and me, we want pipes for liquids and gas. Actually, I'm pretty sure pipes are coming in the next update, which might even be out by the time this video comes out. If not, I reckon next video we'll be having pipes like a drainage engineer. Let's vote on that. Go drainage! Anyway, let's load some semi late in it and get into the game. I still have no idea what a semi late or a late in it is. All I know, I've got a lot of them. Uh, looking at this beautiful mess of a junction. Uh, but I am getting Paddy disturbing me. Look, check out down here. What are you doing, dog? What do you mean you want to tell people about merch? They should check out my merch store. Tell you what, Pad, you've earned yourself a biscuit for bringing that up. Right. Let's get back into the game. What a good dog he is. Right, so yeah, this is our spaghetti junction that we built last time. But today, none of that, none of that. We got we got important stuff to do. Oh, look, things are still upgrading. What's upgrading? Oh, these new ones. Yes, we built these at the end of last episode. And basically how this game works, if you haven't seen it before, you need to deliver various resources to habitats. And then they upgrade, like that's a tier two. These are the tier threes. So they're just waiting for computers and parks to be delivered. Yes, parks do get delivered in this weird, weird universe. Now, before finally, you can get max upgraded when they've got all of these resources. And you got to build all those resources using your map. There's like resources dotted around, like there's sulfur over here, aluminium up here. There's even the odd bit of uranium dotted around. But we use these huge mining machines to get that ore, take it away on hover trucks along very efficient road layouts before they enter all sorts of production buildings to turn that into useful resources for our inhabitants. Now, some of these, they need to be in range. So there's, if we look down here, can you see? <laughs> you see there's a little park. So down here, these trucks are coming in. They're picking up the parks and they're taking them back out. You can see this is the range of all of our parks. they got like a green area radius. Oh no, so this guy, he's stuck in the crystal maze. He just cannot find his way out of there. So much money flying around in the air inside. Anyway, as we saw just then over this way, most of these, they don't have parks in range. So we come down to this button. We build a park. You can see it costs 180 concrete. Bottom left, we got a thousand. So that's all right. And I think we will just shove that there so now all of these pretty much they're within range so when we click on them you can see park is a hundred percent they're just waiting for computers which are currently being delivered meanwhile the ones over here just next to them they've already been upgraded to tier four they're now waiting on a good meal and a home robot now they also need culture and now culture is for being in range of a stadium and the range on those are huge oh no there's some down here that don't have any culture look at them they're cultureless they're missing out on great shows such as malcolm in the middle and the simpsons but anyway as we increase our population we we get more jobs and therefore we can expand into different resorts creating new things and last time if we follow this motorway up here up the huge huge that is such a cool road not gonna lie i would drive the hell out of that in my new audi i tell you that though maybe not this road <laughs> we've lost a few lanes to the sand down there but up here we have this brand new production area and i believe this very very efficient looking area this is going to be our sort of red science pack area now we haven't unlocked that yet but you can see it needs three purple things eight explosive things and two is that yellow science I think that's two yellow science. So the purpley things, they are AI control units. So we just need two blue cubes and four silver snails. Now the silver snail is aluminium. So we're gonna have to find some aluminium to mine around here. Is that some? No, that's iron. Where's the aluminium man? All right, here's some. We're already mining some over here. So if we follow this road, where does it go? Oh yeah, it goes down the corkscrew corner. Nice. And then it goes over into these. So I guess we could. We could come off this road, maybe above the corkscrew and head like over to here. The trouble is, it's a long way. I don't really want loads of traffic doing that. But if you remember at the end of last episode, we just unlocked something very, very special. High speed rail. So what I might do, I might build a, a new station, basically. So in here, we have all sorts of railways. I think we're just going to go with a small train station and we're going to plonk that there. Oh, well, I didn't realize I, I literally put that on a cliff. Never mind. Meanwhile, over this direction, I'm going to put another station. Well, I'm not sure. I don't want to ruin the aesthetic of this place. It's very, very efficient right now. Now, I could shove it here and then from our first one on the cliff i'm pretty sure if we if we click there yeah we can link that around so we've made a loop next up we want to go from here we sort of just want to head this direction oh look at that look at that 
bridge. That's literally like a railway. Oh, no. Why did you do that to me, Gabe? Oh, that's grim. Let's delete all of this. Thankfully, it only costs steel. And if you look in the bottom left, I have a lot of steel. All right, I'm pretty sure... Unless they fixed it, there was a glitch where you could sort of do that. So we got a very small bit of track. We can then say move. And I think we can do this. And then it has to put it in exactly how I want it. Yes, there we go. <laughs> that is a hell of a railway bridge. Yeah, just ignore just ignore the, uh, the supports here. I think there's probably a reason why they did what they did. But it's like a railway viaduct. So we're over here. Oh, dear. The tracks disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna go round the back of the architect suck sign we're aiming for this right track okay so i'm just gonna do what i did last time so a bit of a straight click this move button down here and then over to there look at that <laughs> oh dear look at that bridge isn't it actually I, I feel like that doesn't actually look very structural can i fix that all right so what i'm doing here i'm literally just building some signs to support this because engineers they're resourceful they, they think on their feet so there we go sorted we can we can hold the bridge up now although i do i do need to do the railway going back the other direction all right there we go that's good that's good that's definitely supporting the railway so we'll just continue our rail and uh, <laughs> Why are you coming out that end? Okay, not gonna lie. Sort of interested to see how the train copes with that. <laughs> so let's carry on going. I want to stay as parallel as I can, really. All right, and then when we get to here, this is another... You got to glitch it. So we'll grab this node. We'll say, come all the way over here. All right, that's not too bad. I mean, ideally, they would be perfectly level. We got a bit of bit of level difference at this end. In fact, I could probably, if I try and look down the line. Oh, that's, that is perfect. That's actually beautiful, Matt. And then we connect that up and nice, we have a train line. So next up, we just do a road. We say, come off here, go into there. And then over this way, we can just do a road out of here, into there, threading the needle. Oh God, the frame rate, it takes so long. There we go. <laughs> I think I might have too many roads in my network here. But now that's connected. We can finally get aluminium up here. All we've got to do now is go onto the trains tab. Add a new train line called aluminium. Mini, mini, um. We'll make the trains grey like the aluminium they're transporting. And then we just add that station and add that station. So trains online will add 10 trains. That sounds good to me. And then in order for them to actually transport the aluminium, we just need to build that building that uses it. So it's an AI control factory. Now, annoyingly, we haven't actually unlocked that yet because we have a research tree. You can see AI control units there. They're fourth on the list. So we're quite a way off to actually unlocking that, annoyingly. At the moment, we're working on the high-tech workshop, which supplies your factories with high-tech tools in order order to raise productivity. Now, not gonna lie, I'm a bit bored of waiting for research. Should we try and work on that? Uh, I will say I really want to watch. Oh my goodness, what? <laughs> oh, yeah, I was gonna say I really want to see what happens at this bit of rail. I think, shall we wait for the next train as well? Let's get another angle of this. Oh, look at them using the bridge though. Right, ready? Whoa, they literally do a front flip. <laughs> That's so cool. But yeah, at least for now, this is all set up. I think we're making enough other resources that we can probably just shove them there. Yeah, okay, okay, right. Let's let's work on some science. So where's our science? Our science is down here. We've only got four yellow science pack factories. Uh, we're actually waiting on motors for that one. What about these other ones? We've got everything we need. The trouble is it takes 120 seconds seconds to make one yellow science pack now when you look at these a lot of these are like 180 like 200 220 like it's going to be that's that's a lot of minutes that's also a lot of seconds too so i think the key is we need more motors and we need more neural processors although to be fair we actually have neural processors yeah we're completely stocked up oh it's just the motors okay let's head over this way this is where we make our motors <laughs> look at that mess <laughs> So these are all motors, I think. How are we not making enough of them? Outgoing storage is full. So we are actually making loads of motors. I think they're just taking a long time to get to where they need to go. Uh, so what if we were... We could do a road onto this road. Now this here is our new super duper highway. I mean, look how quick these vans are just absolutely caning it. So I reckon if we grab a motorway and we've just connected into there because... Oh no, that's the wrong one. I've done the wrong one. I've done the wrong one. From this one over to that. So what I'm hoping to see is people leaving the motor factory so they'll be in red vans so this red van are you going to go onto my new road go left go left go left yes he's gone left okay and then he joins the super super fast road whoosh and he's off all right let's just check it wasn't a fluke we got a few more red vans coming are you guys going to come up here oh 
Why are you going that way? Aha, right, here we go. We got another red on here. So some are joining. So they come along here, head along this road, and they head to there. So what we want to do, I think we want to get them onto that motorway. So if we say, come off there and go up there. Oh my goodness, that is like the steepest road I've ever built. I'm hoping some of the reds will go up that way, because then they'll be heading over here. <laughs> Oh, this is such a long route. Over this way. And yeah, that's literally, that's directly to the yellow science pack factories. Okay, so we basically just want to see, are any reds going to come along this road? Yes, there's a few of them. So here they are. They're coming down here. They're coming down. Yes, yes. Turn in. Turn into one of these. Yes. Okay, that's good. We have fixed that issue. A little bit, maybe. Now the question is, is it worth building a few more yellow ones? I could do like a little strip down here. So if I added those in, oh, we don't have enough power in network five. That's because we've only got a couple of wind turbines. We need to connect to this mess. This, <laughs> this is our main power grid, as you can see. It's very complicated, lots of wires going on. And I think I might just do a couple of cables like from there up to there. There you go, it's all connected. It's all lovely. And look at this. The new science pack factories are. Oh, we have caused some traffic, but they're all receiving deliveries. Great. It will give that a few minutes to settle itself. But lots of motors being delivered, which is very good. And yeah, it looks like there's actually no resource issues. Oh, I'll tell you what would help as well if I slide these up. Idiot. I was wondering, like, why there was only, like, three out of six people working in there. These sliders, they let you adjust everything you need. Oh, look, we got a lot of red numbers. We need more neural processors. I think we need to make 63, and we're currently making 26. Uh, same with food, it looks like. Vegetables and meat. We could do with some more of that. So, the meat factory is over here. Yes, it looks like a cow. That's definitely a cow. Uh, so, the meat. Uh, apparently, we need more than vegetables. Are, that, are they these ones? Yeah, so the big Petri dishes are vegetables. The little ones ones are fertilizer so what i could do i could do like a little shortcut road down there which cocks everything up hang on let me just move this node a little bit there we go and i could do a few more meat labs down here so you're making a little bit more meat and yeah this guy this guy's after vegetables now vegetables need fertilizer so we've got to do them after those but maybe we could move some of these meat from the ass because they don't need anything before them so we could do that and then we could do more vegetable things down there like this and then that should make our cow a little bit more productive Productive, I hope. Yet yeah, we've fixed the vegetable situation. We do need more meat, though. It's still a red number. I reckon if we just add some meat to the arse, I don't think anyone will complain about that, will they? All right, there we go. Meat is now white, sorted. Yeah, neural processors. We, we definitely need to increase those. And actually, maybe motors. So, motors is easy because I think we've pretty much... We just need to add more trumpet buildings. So, if we just build a load of those down there. There we go. I'm pretty sure the resources up this end, yeah, they're, they're doing their thing. They know what they're doing. Although, actually, sand mines, there's nothing in the outgoing storage. If you look at these large copper mines, their outgoing storage is full. The sand mines, empty. So, maybe we could use another sand mine. If I just move this solar panel out of the way a little bit. Grab a large sand mine and just shove a few along that edge. Nice. Mind the solar panel box, man. Bloody hell. What are you, what are you doing? And back in our production overview, the motors. Yep, they're now white. So final thing to fix is just the neural processors. 26.4. We got to get it up to 60. We got to triple the amount we're making, basically. I'll tell you what is. We had this crisis before, didn't we? Yeah, we got some advertising. Work at the neural processing plant. And then we had loads of quotes to try and attract workers to here because are we even attracting new workers no but actually looking at our population it's like it's nearly 20 percent of our people are unemployed what is going on okay so these are the neural processor factories so they take sand microchips and nanotubes now nanotubes are over here we're making loads of these although there's actually none in our storage right but at least clicking on all of these they're all sort of full of their storage so i might just build some more nanotubes so if we're <laughs> If we ignore our very efficient railway, that actually we might have to do something a little bit sacrilege. We might have to ruin that because there's, there's a lot of space down here. I could fit a lot of nanotubes. Oh, do I want to do that? Will my viewers ever forgive me? That is the question. I'll tell you what, let's try. Let's try and move it up this way a bit. All right, there we <laughs> there you go. Not the prettiest thing you ever see, but it means we got space now. Oh, look, we've just unlocked the nuclear power plant. That is exciting. Anyway, we're doing neural processors. So let's just, let's get this done. Let's get this done. All right, so nanotubes. Let's fit them in along, along this edge. So they're all connected. They're craving carbon. That should come up there. Yep, coming up in these black trucks. I think we need sand mines. So we'll shove those like along here. Now look at this traffic moving now. That's what we're talking about. I'll tell you what, I might even, I might just 
do another route. Start it all the way along this edge. I love that you can just click and drag. So you get like the smallest spacing possible. Nice. We've increased that massively. Which means hopefully down here we can fit a few more of the neural processing units yeah they don't take up a lot of space so we can fit these in nicely look at that efficiency bonus as well for being close so i've literally squeezed in as many as i can and thankfully we still have the truck nado look at it it's beautiful and i bet where we started this video we've we've got all the, oh my goodness look at the traffic traffic not good but yeah where we started remember these buildings well they've been upgraded to the level five habitat you can see all they need now is a school yes on this planet the last thing you do is you learn now schools are another thing that are an area sort of effect so ideally i want to put a school in there can i move some of these to make space or if we move you over to there you over to there and then we grab the school plonk it there nice and i think these should get upgraded although no look we're running out of good meals oh no look we're massively running out of good meals. I think it's because all of our traffic is cocked. Move, everyone. No, habitats are downgrading. Look, they need good food. Oh, no, it's all, it's all gone wrong. Where's all this extra traffic come from? You can, you can literally see all the good food piled up on this motorway. It literally goes all the way back to the cow. Oh, man, I have cocked this royally. Oh, no, we're in a dangerous situation. The population has dropped below the number of jobs. All right, how can we fix this? How can we fix this? Oh, man, look at this road. It's like, it's mental. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, indeed. On the positive side, at least we are attracting new people in the G-Wagon, 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 G-Wagon. <laughs> oh, that's all I've got left. When you got a panic, you just got a you just got a G wagon it. Uh, by the way, patrons of a certain tier they get access to this exclusive Patreon T-shirt, the G wagon. Check out the badge on the front. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> essentially that patreon tier every every three months i think they get like an exclusive design and this was the first one well the beavles was the first one but then patreon messed up but ignore that ignore that this is the actual first one. Oh man it's all downgrading it's all gone to pot my city has been decimated look at the population three and a half thousand it was like five thousand something a second ago all i can say disaster <laughs> yeah cheers game i wasn't aware of that I wasn't aware we didn't have enough workers. Right, my way of fixing this, I'm gonna I'm gonna move everything down and only have the things that we need to build, like the essentials, and then we'll slowly add in more and more as we need it. So I think wherever I've done, we've got we got traffic mostly moving now. So we'll leave it a few minutes just to let some of these unback up. All right, here we go. We got some upgrades. We got some upgrading. Nice. Thank goodness. Okay, so let's slowly start doing these. So we know we're going to need some motors. So let's up the motors. We know we're going to need these guys. And because we've upgraded the neural processors, we need to do the nanotubes as well. Basically, I just got to slowly start increasing stuff. And look, it is working. The habitats are upgrading. All right, we don't want to go too fast, though, because there's there's a lot, and I mean a lot, of G-Wagons coming. I mean, look at all of these. G-Wagon, 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 G-Wagon. So we're at the point where we've got enough houses, but we're like a thousand... Well, 1,500 short of people. So we've literally just got to wait for all of these G-Wagons to arrive. And once they arrive, they'll go to work. All of these percentages, they should go up to 100. Some of these are quite low at the moment. That's because there literally aren't enough workers. But look, we're pretty much back now. We're up to 4,000 population. I think, I think we've just about rescued the situation. <laughs> Oh, nightmare. Absolute nightmare. Since that normal process is it's still very red. 34. We've got to get up to 50, really. I'm actually going to build some more. Yeah, this might be too soon, but sometimes you got to live life on the edge. So we'll do a few down that road. Oh, there we go. We're up to 40. It's yellow. Nice. Oh, that's good. And we've done some research. We unlocked the oxygen processor and the carbon processor. Very nice. Right, well, let's close that. And I think we're probably going to leave that there because... <laughs> Well, I was going to do nuclear power plants, but now I'm too scared. But yeah, at least we built a very, very nice bridge, right? It's, it's sort of nice. <laughs> yeah, it's not that nice. How about at least we made a train front flip? Yeah, does that work? Oh, dear. Right. Peace, love, and G-Wagons. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.